Hi everyone, this is teacher Sandra. In this video, we'll be doing the comparison model. So let's look at the question. There are 345 girls in the school. There are 98 more boys than girls in the school. So how many pupils are there in the school altogether? So upon reading the question, we need to notice something, this part. Okay, they tell us that there are more boys than girls in the school. So this tells us that they are comparing. All right. Now, so if they tell us that they're comparing, then we will draw a comparison model. So what is a comparison model? It means we draw two bars, one long, one short. Okay, next, let's label boys and girls. Now, they tell us that there are more boys in the question, yes? So, therefore, the boys will belong to the longer bar because more. Okay, more boys means boys will be the longer bar. Next, let's fill in the figures. What do we have, the information? We know that there are 345 girls in the school. So, let's fill in 345 in the model for the girls. Next, we need to extend our lines. Okay, so extend the line up to make equal parts. Okay, so now after extending the line up, we will have two equal parts there, the green ones. So what does that mean? Remember the girls just now we indicated 345, which means the green part for the boys up there will also be 345. Okay, let's look at the next information. They tell us there are 98 more boys. So this 98 more boys represent the difference. Okay, so now in the model, where do we put this 98? Because 98 represents the difference. Where is the difference in the model? Now this part here, the part that's sticking out, the yellow color part, where there's a red circle now, okay, it's actually the difference. Okay, remember the part that's sticking out will be the difference. So we will indicate 98 over there, 98 more boys. Now let's write down the information that we have, shall we? Now we know that girls, there are 345 of them. Now we need to find boys, right? So boys would be, according to the model, the whole bar up there. Okay, so that will be 345 plus 98. That will give us the total number of boys. Okay, if you work that out, you will get 443 boys. Next, they're asking us to find out the total number of pupils in the school. Now, total pupils refers to who? Boys plus girls, correct? So, since you know the number of girls, and now you have found out the number of boys, in order to find the total number of pupils, you just need to take boys plus girls, okay, which will take the 443 boys plus 345 girls. They all add up to 788 total pupils altogether. So that's the answer, 788 pupils in the school altogether. Okay, that'll be all for this video. See you guys in the next video.